Hello po, mabuhay. Peace be with us po. And blessed day din po sa ating lahat. Tagbabalik po ang Come and See. Isang power prayer nga po. Sabihin po natin, Jesus, I trust in you. Okay po. We are now on the 18th Sunday in ordinary time. In our Gospels for today, Jesus reminds us to reflect, examine our lives. What else do I need? Ano pa ba ang kailangan ko? May kailangan pa ba ako? O mas kailangan ng iba ang gusto ko? Share. Don't be greedy. And let us become rich in God's sight. Pakigyan po natin a reading sa gospel for this day po. A reading from the book of Ecclesiastes. Vanity of vanities, says Kohala. Vanity of vanities, all things are vanity. Here is one who has labored with wisdom and knowledge and skill, and yet to another who has not labored over it. He must leave his property. This also is vanity and a great misfortune, for what profit comes to men from all the toil and anxiety of heart with which he has labored under the sun. All his days sorrow and grief are his occupation. Even at night, his mind is not at rest. This is also vanity. The Word of the Lord A reading from the letter to the Colossians Brothers and sisters, if you were raised with Christ, seek what is above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Think of what is above, not of what is on earth. For you have died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ your life appears, then you too will appear with Him in glory. Put to death then the parts of you that are earthly, immortality, impurity, passion, evil desire, and the greed that is idolatry. Stop lying to one another, since you have taken off the old self with its practices and have put on the new self, which is being renewed, for knowledge in the image of its Creator. Here there is not Greek and Jew, circumcision and uncircumcision, barbarian, citation, slave, free, but Christ is all in all. The Word of the Lord A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Someone in the crowd said to Jesus, Teacher, tell my brother to share the inheritance with me. He replied to him, Friend, who appointed me as your judge and arbitrator? Then he said to the crowd, Take care to guard against all greed, for though one may be rich, One's life does not consist of possessions. Then he told them a parable. There was a rich man whose land produced a bountiful harvest. He asked himself, What shall I do? For I do not have space to store my harvest. And he said, This is what I shall do. I shall tear down my barns and build larger ones. There, I shall store all my grain and other goods, and I shall say to myself, Now, as for you, you have so many good things stored up for many years. Rest, eat, drink, be merry. But God said to him, You fool, this night your life will be demanded of you, and the things you have prepared, to whom will they belong? Thus, Will it be for all who store up treasure for themselves, but are not rich in what matters to God? The Gospel of the Lord Our Gospel for today is taken from St. Luke. And let us reflect on, Turn your wants into needs, then you give. 
ano po ba ang pangarap o ambisyon natin sa buhay? Siyempre po, kapag may pangarap o ambisyon po tayo, nagsusumikap po tayo na makamit ito. Kahit pa may hirapan pa ang isip, puso at katawan natin. Nakalungkot lang po na yung iba sa atin ay gustong makamit ang ambisyon o pangarap nila sa mabilis na paraan. Kaya ang resulta po, nabagman sa kalooban ay nakakagawa ng hindi tama o labag sa batas ng Diyos at ng tao. Ang tanong po ngayon, gaano po ba karami ang dapat naiipon natin? Yung tama lang po ba sa pangailangan natin upang tayo ay mabuhay or dapat po ba sobrahan natin para hindi po tayo maubusan? Ano-ano po ba ang mga bagay na kailangan natin? Dito na po ang pagkakaiba ng needs at wants. A need is something necessary to live and function. A want is something that can improve your quality of life. Using this criteria, a need includes food, clothing, shelter, and medical care. While wants include everything else. Of course po, ang kailangan po talaga natin ay ang needs. Needs na kapag may sobra sa atin ay pwede nating ibigay sa nangailangan. Mga walang kakayahan o hirap i-provide ang mga pangailangan para mabuhay. Gaya po ngayon, marami ang napinsala, saktan at nawalan ng buhay dahil sa nakalipas na lindol. This is to remind us na we have to become rich in God's sights. Huwag maging mayaman sa material na bagay. Huwag din maging maramot sa iba. At huwag magpakasaya dahil basta nakapagfish mo na o nakuha mo na ang mga bagay na gusto mo, magpapakasaya ka na lang. Huwag naman po. Baka po yan na ang huling araw na magiging masaya ka. Gaya po ng kwento ng Panginoong Yesus sa Gospel. Tandaan po natin, huwag maging sakin. Huwag maging madamot. Ibahagi po natin sa iba ang needs and wants natin. Baka po pwede po natin i-convert ang ating wants into needs. Then let us give. Maniwala, magtiwala, huwag lang O Panginoon naming Diyos, ipalala mo po sa amin na kami ay tumingin din sa mga nangailangan. Makapagbigay nawa sana kami ng bukal sa aming kalooban at huwag kami maging sakim sa mga material na bagay. We praise and thank you. Protect us and guide us, Lord. Amen. Thank you for watching, my dear brothers and sisters. Maraming salamat po at God bless po sa ating lahat.